back to the off-grid enclave. In this video we will be having a look at microgreens. These can be done on a very small scale and are ready to harvest within 7 to 10 days. First step for this project is moisturing the cocoa coir and let it expand properly. This will take a few minutes and the material will expand quite a bit. There's quite a variety of other mediums that will work for this. Earth, some seedlings need sand, some of the microgreens will even do well just being grown on toilet paper. Coco coir has high water retention. It is a very good choice, especially for short growing periods like a week or two. For microgreens that require a longer growing period, it is recommended to add some more nutritious soil. Next step is measuring the seeds. This is done to get a consistent growing outcome and to be able to compare growing output. Here about 13 grams of radish seeds are used for a 23 on 37 centimeters tray. Here we are using two trays on top of each other, with the top one having holes in the bottom. These are self-made trays, but there is also a lot of variety on the market for these sort of products. Next we add the growing medium. For management and to track progress, it is good measure to mark the trays when you work with multiple trays. You don't need much growing medium, 1.5 cm is already good enough. Also, a thicker layer means more relaxed watering. Tap the soil lightly into form, don't compress it too much. Now we add some water, so the seeds will stick better to the growing medium and watering after placing the seeds won't wash them all around. Here a very thin hydrogen peroxide solution is also sprayed on top to prevent mold, fungus and encourage root growth. Spread the seeds evenly across the medium. I like to start from the edges. You can always spread them more if you happen to bunch them up too much. After deploying the seeds is done, water the tray thoroughly. Most microgreens need water once or twice a day, especially if you have a thin layer of growing medium. For the first day, we add an empty tray on top with a little weight. This stimulates the seeds to grow their roots downwards. On the second day, you can already see the seeds have pushed the radicals quite nicely into the medium. On the image in the upper right corner, you can see the radicals on day one. On the lower image, you can see the root hairs, which function to absorb the water. Add more water on top and also from below, as you can start to see small roots coming through the holes in the tray. Thank you. 
on the third day you can already see more growth. There was a tray on top of them to keep them in the dark longer. This will help in the beginning to give them a bit more growth in length. Now that we have decent growth, we only water from below. Here a little bit of nutrient solution is added to give some extra nutrition. This is not required most of the time. And tap water will do you just fine. As we have achieved a decent stem length, we can now introduce them to light. Also keep in mind to provide adequate ventilation. It is possible to use a good sunny spot for this, especially in summer. For two or three trays, some basic low power grow lights will do. For bigger setups, a dark room or growing tent is a good solution. On the fourth day, the radish already start to look pretty nice. They gain green color really fast once you introduce them to the light. At this point, you should brush over them a bit with your hand to remove any remaining seed holes. The fifth day is where the radish starts to look really delicious. If you're in a hurry, you can now start harvesting. Give some more water, give some more light and love, and in one or two days you will have a nice big harvest. On day number six, we're almost ready for harvest. Once again, brush the leaves to remove any remaining seed holes. You should also check below the canopy to spot possible mold. As the canopy gets thicker it is easy to develop moisture underneath creating conditions for mold. The more seeds you add the more likely this is to happen. Start reducing the amount of water you give. If the medium feels wet don't give any water at this point. On day 7 it's time to harvest the plants. You can use scissors or a very sharp knife for this. Cut a good 2 to 3 centimeters above the medium line so you don't get any medium in your food product. After a short while we are done with the harvest and we have collected a delicious 150 grams of radish for one single tray. Stored properly in a refrigerator they should last about a week. Microgreens are very nice add-ons to salads, smoothies or sandwiches. Radish microgreens are quite spicy, but they contain 40 times more nutrients compared to grown radish. This project was planned, financed and run by one of the off-grid enclave community members. Big shout out to Faraoth. The man does beautiful videos of the Finnish nature and forests. Be sure to check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you all for watching, enjoy your day and make it count.